how to send mass emails for free. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can start your email marketing journey using a few different programs and applications and how you can make sure that you can send the maximum amount of emails to the maximum amount of users uh, without having to pay for anything at all. So let's get started. Now, starting off, I would suggest that if you're starting your email marketing journey, you should definitely go with sender.net and sender.net is a email marketing device. It allows you to send emails. It allows you to create very uh, good looking emails without having any HTML experience. So it doesn't matter even if you're totally unexperienced in the field of coding, you can still send very nice emails and their free version provides you with up to 2,500 subscribers. It's going to provide you 15,000 emails per month and it has all features so all of their features that they provide for $45 on their monthly subscription or uh, $168 on their prepaid credits they're gonna give you all of that on their free version as well so you have no limitations in terms of features and this is why I would definitely definitely say that this is probably the number one email marketing software out there currently now a lot of people might feel like oh it still has a limit to up to 15,000 emails maybe I want to send more now there are only 30 days in a month and if you calculate how many emails you're sending per day it's still gonna be pretty high so let's say we're going to calculate how many emails we're going to be sending daily so 15,000 emails and if we divide that by 30 so you're going to be sending 500 emails per day and that is still pretty good if you still feel like this is not good enough for you i have a good good option in which you can make a combination between sender.net and another email marketing tool which is this super email marketing tool now to download this tool, what you're going to do is you're going to go on edgeeducate.com, place your cursor over downloads. You're going to go into the super mail sender. We're going to click on that. And then you can see over here the features of this email marketing software. We're just going to scroll down and you're going to click on download over here. Once you download this, you're going to go into your downloads, open up your downloads. And you can see this is going to be a zipped file. You can see this is like the zipped file and what you're going to do is you're going to do a right click. You're going to click on extract files and you're going to select a destination for your file. So you're just going to create a folder and extract them over there. Once you do that, you can see this is my extracted file and you're going to scroll down and over here you can see this icon, this paper kite or paper plane. And then you're going to click on that and you're going to open your super email marketing sender. I'm going to allow it to make some changes. And now with this email marketing device, you can send as many emails as you want. And the reason that I still recommend that you go for sender first, and once you're set up on sender.net, if you have more than, um, if you want to send any more emails above the daily limit on your sender.net account, then you're going to opt for super email sender. But primarily you're going to send from sender.net. And the reason for that is if you build emails here on super email sender, they're not going to be as customizable as you might want. So you're going to have basic text emails while on sender.net, you can use a lot of their uh, templates. So we're going to get started on sender.net and I'm going to show you guys the difference between the emails that you have on both of these platforms. So you're just going to fill this out, enter your business email and you can get started on sender.net and the emails are both very good and you can see that sender.net is even going to provide you with a comparison between their email subscription list and their features as compared to some other of the popular email marketing softwares. So if you feel like 2,500 people per month is still less for you and you have a larger clientele, you have a larger mailing list already created, if that is the case for you, then you're going to go with the super email sender and with the super email sender once you download it you're going to be welcomed with this licensing page and you're going to have to activate your account and now this is very essential without your activation you're not going to be able to use this super email sender and don't worry this isn't some kind of paid feature or anything this is free as well but what you're going to do is once you set up your super email sender you download it extract it and open the application you're going to go back to your browser and you're going to search for h-supertools.com and that's very easy you just search for that this is going to be the home page 
And what you're going to do is you're going to go on the rightmost icon, which says more. You're going to drag your mouse to the bottom, which says super email sender. And then over here, you're going to add your email address that you use to create your account on the super email sender. And then you are going to generate a license. And in your inbox, you will receive your license key. Once you do that, you're going to go back to your super email sender. You're going to enter your email and your key. And then you're just going to activate your super email sender. Once you do that, you're going to start up by setting up your delivery services. You can do that just by if you take a look at the bottom left over here. You can add your Google Suite, your Postal API, or your SMTP server. Over here, I have added my SMTP server, and you can see there are just some basic details you need to fill out. Once you do that, you're going to go into your lists manager, and you can create different lists. So I have a cooking list. Let's say I want to add a product promotion list, and I'm going to click on OK. And now I can add contacts by just clicking over here or I can import contacts as well. So if you already have your contacts in a TXT or CSV file, you can add those over here and start importing your contacts. If you don't, don't worry. You can just click on add and add your emails individually with first names. And once you add them, you can obviously edit information as you go. Now, if I take a look at my cooking list, I've added one email over here. And you can create as many lists as you want. You can add as many contacts as you want. So even if you have 10,000 contacts, 20,000 contacts, uh, you can add them as you go. You don't have to worry about any limitations on this super email sender. So that is why I do think that in terms of free services, this is probably the best free service you're going to get and it provides you with the best amount of value because in most to all email senders, you're going to have either a subscriber limit or a email limit. This tool has neither. So you can just click on ahead and start sending emails. After that, you can add templates here as well. So you can see I have a new temp empty new template. I have a few, you know, empty templates. I didn't add anything, but if you just, uh, you can add categories in your templates as well. So let's add a category for product promotions like this. And then you can add templates for product promotion. So product A, product one, yeah, product promotions. And over here, I'm going to add one and then two, three. And then you can add all of your different product promotions in a single category. That's going to make it a lot easier when you're doing bulk email sending. And when you're sending to thousands of people is at once, you're not going to be able to look at these stats individually to monitor who is getting what. You're just going to select these categories and start sending. Now, once you create your emails and once you're done setting up a few templates, you can monitor all of your campaigns on this section over here. And to create your campaigns, you're going to click on this campaign builder. You're going to name your campaign. So promotion one. And then I'm going to select the list I want to send it to. So which contacts should I send this to? So should this mail be sent to? So I'm going to click on product promotion list. Then I'm going to select a delivery service. That's why I suggest setting up your delivery services in the beginning because you don't have to do that at the end. Then you can send a time pause email. You can also run a stimulation mode where the campaign is run without you actually having to send any emails. Then you can see over here, I have my templates and I can select from any category. So I can select from product promotion to my cookbook templates or any of that. But this is, since this is a new campaign for product promotion, I'm gonna select a product promotion template. And now I haven't added any emails into this list. So I'm just gonna add a single email to my list like this. I'm gonna add them. I'm gonna load these contacts. Now I am going to just test out this email and i do suggest when you're sending emails in the thousands you first off test them out and now my email has been sent and this is how easy it is to start sending bulk emails on super email sender or any other email platform as well they're pretty easy to set up generally i do think that maybe you're going to have a bit of a learning curve on the super email sender because it does um you know you have to download it you have to set it up you have to set up your delivery services and all that but if you're looking for a free tool it's definitely the one to go with 
but if you're still a small business and your email list is not that large you're only sending to like a few hundred people you should maybe start off with sender.com or sender.net i'm sorry and then move on to the super emailing services that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video